A group of eighth graders are making a big difference, changing the lives of children fighting cancer. The students are taking a new elective class at Hillel School in Farmington Hills. They are creating specialized care packages for kids receiving cancer treatments. Joining us now is eighth grader Emily Miller, part of that class, and also school principal Melissa Michelson. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi. So, Melissa, let's start with you real quick. Tell us how this all came about. At Hillel Day School, we give the opportunity to our middle schoolers to choose an elective. And this year, we have a new elective called Tikkun Olam, which means repairing the world in Hebrew. And it's one of our core values at, at Hillel Day School. And the students, Emily, I think it was about nine of them, <laughs> chose this elective. And together, they went through the design thinking process to come up with the idea that Emily will explain. Uh, yeah, Emily, how did this, why choose this initiative? How did this all come about? Yeah, so when we first started our Takuna Alam course, we chose a problem that we saw in our world that we could best empathize with. We had to consider aspects and how feasible the idea was, and then we ideated. Oh, perfect. So, so you, you decided to create these care packages, mm -hmm. and that's what you ultimately landed on. What are in some of these care packages? Yeah, so we have different ages, um, middles, littles, and bigs. This one here is the middles. We include comfort items such as blankets and stuffed animals. We include items that they can actively use, such as stickers, drawing books. We include a personalized note in each of them because the purpose of the care packages is so we can allow the children to understand that we're here and that we care about them. So when you're creating some of this packaging, what goes into the thought process behind them as far as what you think they'll need? Yeah, so collaboration was a big part. We included experts such as occupational therapists to understand if we give these items, if the kids will be able to use them, what do we want, what would we think that would comfort these kids. We wanted to do care packages specifically rather than fundraising because it's we wanted to make sure that they felt connected to our world and they understand the value they bring every single day. So tell us, did you face any obstacles when it came to, I mean, the whole process to picking something mm -hmm. that everybody agreed on, to any obstacles with organizing any of this? Yeah, so we had a whole whiteboard of issues that we could have solved. And when we came up with cancer, we had to figure out what we could do that would be feasible and what we could do that we would achieve best meaning through making sure that we held the best meeting, even if it was finances and what got in the way. We wanted to make sure that they understood that we're there because I don't think the world's going to change until we do as people, and we took a step in that direction, in the right direction. What do you think, and you, you might have already touched on this just a little bit, this is such a cool initiative, what do you think is the number one thing that you learned, or the number one takeaway that you think you'll carry with you throughout your life? My biggest takeaway is knowing that I help someone, but knowing that I help someone on a more personal note. When you donate to cancer, only 4% goes to children. They're worth more than 4%, and I think that confidence is a skill that you can acquire, and if we can help bring someone's confidence back, that means the world to me. Aw, Emily, that's so thoughtful and so caring. I'm so glad you were able to join us here today on the show. Uh, Melissa, is this something that you see students doing for years to come? Yes, so Lisa Wilson, who is our Makerspace coordinator and who was the teacher for this course, our hope is that we make a connection to a local hospital, that the students are able to meet the pediatric cancer patients, and that this becomes a project that can be much larger than the 30 backpacks that they created. This is a prototype. We want to empathize even more to see what will make a difference in the lives of these children, and we hope that it continues on at Hillel Day School and in the wider community. Uh, do you see other classes picking new topics? You know, it's sad to say, but unfortunately, there's so many people in need, just like what Emily is saying. It's so hard just to pick one initiative. Yeah, so what's beautiful about the elective course, and unfortunate, but th this <laughs> course has ended for Emily's particular class, but a new group of students just started, and they are in the process of coming up ideas with Miss Lisa, and who knows what they'll come up with, but for sure it will be connected to Takuna Alam and repairing the world. Well, looking forward to seeing what other great things students to come will share with our community. Emily, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thank, thank you for you. having us. It's hard to follow up with the weather, Kevin. You really can't beat. <laughs>
No, no. In <laughs> fact, and I want to say one thing, too, because I heard you guys talking before the interview, and Emily, I know you said you were a little nervous. You are so well-spoken. Yes! And Emily, you are so great. perfect for this doing great thing. So such a great job, uh, you guys. So awesome work. Um, we got to get to the forecast, too. Got to tell you how cold it is outside. We do have our temperatures that are around uh, 5, 6, 7, 9 degrees or so. Sorry, I put you guys Kevin, back on camera you, you again. you did, but you it's know my what? Fault. We need a picture opportunity, no matter how cold it is outside. <laughs> yeah. And Emily, I mean, she's just so well-spoken. Do you mind taking over the rest of the show? <laughs> yeah, right? Just give the weather. Just we'll tell people it's cold.